Why your radio promoter is cheating on you and having an affair. Ooh, this one's going to be spicy. Let's go. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries, and become a top 40 Billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply, and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. So hey, I'm just driving home from the mall. I tried to get a pair of shoes and an outfit or something for this conference because I'm going to be walking across the stage picking up a Two Comma Club award, which is um, from ClickFunnels for having a funnel stack that has sold over a million dollars. And i um, pretty stoked about that. And, uh, you know, I don't get too caught up on outfits or anything like that. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? Nobody really cares about what shoes I'm wearing or what shirt. I have a bunch of jackets and some nice outfits and stuff, and I'm going to get my hair cut. I don't need to actually get shoes, and I just didn't see anything, and so I was like, eh, forget it, all right? And so I just enjoyed just thinking, dreaming, and um, I, as I was walking back to my car, we, uh, we had some success with radio today, <clears throat> and I've, uh, <clears throat> I've hired my own in-house radio promoter as well as I've been handling it myself and if you follow me on Instagram you'll notice I posted about a radio station that just said this the song that I had was not uh, was not good enough and we couldn't add it and I posted it to Instagram and everybody freaked out about it even on my personal and it was was great it's cool and some people were like oh name the radio station I was like no I'm not gonna do that and it's a sure good thing I didn't because when it comes to radio it's all about relationships okay and Long story short, I emailed this station another song, and they're like, dude, we don't play that style. It's a little too rocky, and it's not hip-hop. And I was like, oh, okay. And I'm like, geez, man. I said, well, well, rock artists wouldn't call it uh, rock either. I said, I'm like the stepchild artist right now. I just have no place. I said, okay, here's the last hip-hop song I have on my record. Here it is. And if you don't like this one, then I don't even know what to do. And just having fun about it. And... The guy emails me back, he's like, dude, I know you can handle this. That song is cool too, but um, it's a little muffled in the mix. But he's like, that other song you sent me, All Time High, we're going to put it into rotation and test it out. And I was like, woohoo! He added it. And um, so that just shows you perseverance. That just shows that like... You know, just because he turned me down, I can't be a douchebag. And I just got to keep building the relationship. And speaking of relationships, that is the segue to why your radio promoter is cheating on you in the most promiscuous, one of the most promiscuous persons in uh, the music industry business. Because when they take your song to radio, you better believe they don't just have one song on their arms. They have a whole bunch of song on their arms. It's like a guy with a whole bunch of girls around his arms walking around, all right? And that's what radio promoters do with artists. Because they don't just go to a radio station and go, oh, I'm just pushing this song. It's only this song that I'm pushing. No! They always take at least three, four, five songs on because they don't know which one's going to hit. And you, the fee that you're paying them, whether it's two, three, four thousand dollars a month, I don't know what it is, retainer, is not enough to pay them, to, to, to feed them and to pay their mortgage and for them to live off of. So they have to take on multiple artists, which is not in favor of you. It's in favor of them because they got to stay afloat. I remember a radio promoter telling me, and I can't believe he said this, and I totally caught him red handed. Uh, he, he said he was going to, this, to meet with this station and he's playing them songs and even said to me, he's like, yeah, man, your song. Yeah, it, it, it was the one that the guy picked. He really liked that. And, you know, I, you know you're, you're a new artist and he took you over this other artist. And it was kind of like, so like you even were probably trying to push this other artist more than me. And um, I remember I didn't even catch it at first, but then later on I caught him at the fact that this other um, artist that he was pushing that I happened to be on tour with and no offense, and straight up, their music sucked. Their music sucked. It wasn't nearly as good as mine, but guess what? 
the best song don't always win. So go cry a little river, Mr. Manifest. Um, but no, seriously, it's not always about the best song. It's about who's pushing it and favors and all kinds of stuff. And this promoter chose his other girlfriend over me. Okay, I was just the, he's having an affair on me and cheating on me with this other artist. And they were the ones that got all the ads. And I kind of got the leftover stuff. Okay, and I'm not going to get into all the things that he did and whatever, but just the point is, is that I'm watching this other artist get all these ads. And I remember when I had a manager who understood this market a lot more than I did, because this was a new radio market for me. And he called that guy out, my promoter out so hard. And all of a sudden we started getting more ads and all this stuff. And so he was like the judge coming in. He, he caught him cheating on me is basically what he did. And so you know, if you don't know this industry, it will take advantage of you. Ignorance is not bliss. Just blindfully hiring somebody because, uh, you know, they say they like your music and, oh, this should be on the radio or we think you'd be great for this. Just just pay us thousands of dollars first and, you know, we'll wet your ears and tell you everything you want to hear. No, they're going to cheat on you. And you better believe the same thing with a label. Okay, majority of a label's philosophy, right? You're not their only girlfriend or boyfriend. They got lots of them. They, they practically got a concubine, okay, of many different wives, all right? Because they, what they do with artists is they throw them to the stealing like spaghetti and see which one sticks. And whatever one sticks, I guess that's the one they they marry, okay, if we're going to continue to use this analogy. But I hope you see that I'm just kind of being funny here. At the same time, I'm being dead serious. But, um, you know, your radio promoter is definitely not um, faithful to just you, okay? They've got other girlfriends and boyfriends that they're dating and they're courting because they got to eat, all right? They got to eat. And, you know, they just got to keep going on to the next one and on to the next one. You are not their only all right, and so that's why I'm, you know, I'm not saying ever to hire a radio promoter, but just know the game. Know the game that they're going to have other people that they're pushing and you might not be the priority. There's a good chance you're not going to be the priority, especially if you're a new artist. If you want more advice, if you want honesty, if you want the real deal, come join Fanbase University. All right, get coached by me every month twice a month actually on the 12th and 24th at 12 p.m. EST. Get some of the best training in the music industry on how to market your music online from running your own Kickstarter to Facebook, Instagram, ads, so much more. How I make over 4,000 a month selling music online, which is really 10,000 a month selling music online. That needs to be changed. I made that course a long time ago and I've learned a lot from since then. But anyways, go to fanbaseuniversity.com. Hope this has helped you out. Don't be discouraged by this. Just know it's the truth. And welcome to the jungle, baby. This is a volatile industry. And again, if you can't handle it, get out. If you don't got tough skin, get out. I'm in this because I can handle the truth. I can get told off about a mix and not go, oh, you know, oh, you couldn't hear the vocals that weren't good enough? Like, are you deaf, dude? No, I'm like, emailed my producer. I'm like, yo, here's what radio said about the song. And I, and I can actually hear what he's saying. It is a little kind of hard to hear the vocals a little bit. We need to bring him up. We need a better mix, man. Once he's done with this song, I'm going to follow up with him and say, hey, man, first, thanks so much for playing my song. Hope it did good. And all the follow up that goes into that. And um, then it's going to be like, hey, we did a new mix of this song. Um, what do you think? You know, we, we fixed it for you. You know, I'm not just going <clears> to <throat> give up. And, you know, if I want radio, you got to bow down to some of the rules of radio. It's not about you anymore, is it? You know, it's only about you when you're in the studio and recording. But, you know, your fans are going to tell you the truth real quick. Radio will tell you the truth real quick. You know, your friends that just want to say, oh, you're so awesome. You're so good. And they know nothing about music or nothing about the music. But there's this one friend I used to play songs for. And I stopped playing songs for him because his feedback was useless. And it was just like, sometimes he just didn't, didn't have an ear. And honestly, he wasn't trying to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. And so you better make sure you have good people, people that know what they're talking about, giving you the proper feedback about your songs and about your art and all this stuff, you know, because 
you could be getting the wrong advice and and then you just going down the wrong path and steering you the wrong way and you could have something really good too and they're saying it's junk and it's really actually is good you know it just might need a few tweaks or something but anyways i want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails a fighter is someone who never quits so don't quit just because you got told the truth today figure it out learn grow adapt adapt or die baby hey Keep going. I hope to see you on the next Fan Base University call. Peace. So if you're a struggling artist and you're just trying to figure out this music industry, you want to go full time with your music, you want to get noticed on social media or learn how to launch an album, an EP, or just get your music more marketed out there, I want to encourage you to check out my coaching program called Fan Base University. Every single month, I jump on the phone two times with my students and I coach them and I teach them how to market their music, how to get noticed, how to handle booking agents, record labels, and just get their music out there. Also, you get access to exclusive training, you get in interviews with music industry professionals. If you want to find out more and not do this on your own, not struggle because I've wasted thousands of dollars on my career and I, now I want to coach other artists. Check out my program, FanBaseUniversity.com or click the link below to find out more info.